Hi, welcome to this evening yoga class to unwind and release stress. I'm Laya. All you'll need today is a comfortable surface like a yoga mat, a bolster or a large pillow and two blocks, but you can also do the practice without any of those things. Those are just optional. I will be giving variations and modifications so that you can find what works best for your body this evening. Let's go ahead and get started by lying down. So if you have a bolster or a pillow, you can bring it long ways and then bring your hips against the bolster or the pillow and lie down on your back. You could stretch your legs down or you could also bring your feet flat to the floor a little bit wider than your hips and allow your knees to rest over one another. If this feels like a little too much on the spine, maybe you grab one of your blocks or another pillow and place it underneath your neck and your arms could rest on next to your body with your palms facing down or maybe you rather rest your hands on your abdomen and take a moment to move your head gently side to side. Becoming aware of the space that you're in, the colors, the shapes, the textures. Maybe you wiggle your fingers and your toes. And eventually, see if you can bring yourself to stillness. Letting your gaze soften down or closing your eyes if you rather. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Letting your belly, your ribcage and your chest expand. Open your mouth and slowly let it go. Softening your body toward the earth, toward the support beneath you, even if it's just 1%. Inhale, letting the body expand. Exhale to release and soften down, down, down toward the earth. One more inhale. And exhale. Let yourself engage in a breath that feels natural, yet intentional. Letting yourself arrive into this practice as you notice how your physical body feels. Not only allowing yourself to become aware of the discomfort and tightness and painful areas, but I also invite you to recognize the spaces where you can relax, the parts of your body that feel good and open. Recognizing the duality that exists within you and around you. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Notice your mind. The thoughts that you are allowing to take up importance after a day of being in the world. Taking care of things and people, engaging in comfortable and uncomfortable spaces. And now letting yourself arrive, recognizing that everything that, that you did, everything that you did not do has brought you right here, right now. Take a deep breath in. And side out. Softening, even if it's just a little bit more. Letting your mind do what it does, whether you're still worried about things of the past, we're already thinking about the to-do list and the things that are coming up in the future. 
nudge yourself right in between, right here and now. Where you're simply breathing in and breathing out. Where you're letting yourself be just as you are. Nothing else that you need to do. But to be present. Deep breath in. Let it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Perhaps hold at the top. Open your mouth and release, maybe making sound. <sighs> Start to move your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhalation, extend your legs away from you and your arms overhead. Stretch out. Feel free to yawn. And on your exhalation, let yourself roll toward one side or rise up toward a seat in any way that works for you. But moving slowly and gently, there's no rush. You can move the props to one side. You could also choose to sit on a block or a blanket or your pillow or bolster to elevate your hips and allow your hands to rest on your lap or your knees, relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. And as you find yourself in this seated position, take a deep breath in, let it expand. And on your exhalation, bring your right ear toward the right shoulder. It doesn't have to go very far. Let yourself remain here or perhaps bring your right hand over the left ear, creating a little bit more sensation. Maybe you extend your left arm out to the side. Feel free to move your chin up and down until you find the stretch that serves you most here. And just breathe. Bring your hands back down toward your lap. Bring your neck back to neutral. Inhale. Exhale, bring your left ear toward the left shoulder. Creating more space on the right side of the neck. Feel free to stay or perhaps take your left hand across over the right ear, adding a little bit of weight, shifting the sensation. And maybe your right arm extends to the side. Consider what serves you best on this side. It may be different than the other side. Can you let that be okay? One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands back down. Bring your neck back to neutral. Take a moment here to find yourself seated in comfort. Inhale. And on your exhalation, lean back a little bit and bring your feet to the ground. You can bring them as wide as your hips or wider, making space for your abdomen. Lift your chest as you inhale. And on your exhalation, give your knees a hug as you relax your head down, maybe resting your forehead on your arms. And I invite you to stay in stillness or maybe sway a little side to side, breathing in and out. Where can you be a little more gentle, a little softer? One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Slowly bring yourself back up. And start to come into a hands and knees position just for a moment, bringing your bolster or your pillows in front of you. And I invite you to bring your hands to the floor about hips, the shoulders distance apart and your knees about hips distance apart. And for a moment, just find a little bit of movement. Maybe your hips move side to side, mobilizing through your spine. Perhaps you'd rather take a few cat cows, arcing and rounding. Is there any movement here that would feel a little bit freeing? that would help you release any tension accumulated. One more breath as you inhale and exhale. 
Pause at the center, start to bring your big toes to touch, separate your knees and send your hips back toward your heels. They can go all the way back if that's for you. You could also bring a block between your sitting bones and your hips, or you could prioritize lowering your torso. So if you have your bolster, you can keep it there or you could elevate it by bringing your blocks underneath it or maybe another blanket. So you can make this pile as high as works for you. And then take your torso over the support Maybe you take one ear down and you stay here for a few breaths, allowing your hands to also be a pillow, or maybe letting them rest on the sides. You could also take your forehead down to the bolster and breathe here. Taking a few moments to settle into the shape, to make yourself a little bit more comfortable than you think you deserve to be. Breathe. And cleanse your jaw. Soften the tiny muscles around your eyes. Release the tension between your eyebrows. Deep inhalation through your nose. And out through your nose or your mouth. Two more breaths here. And then as slowly as you brought yourself into this shape, or slower if you wish, Bring yourself up. Feel free to keep the pile of props in front of you. Maybe you make it a little bit lower by taking the blocks down or not and start to bring your right hip next to your bolster. Now from here you could slide the right side of your body onto the bolster, taking your arm down as well and creating a shoulder stretch. Maybe your left hand stays in front of you for support or on your next inhalation lift your left arm overhead and on your exhalation let it surrender draw your left shoulder back a little bit more and breathe noticing the extension from the hips through the sides of the body all the way through the shoulders Two more breaths here. And then slowly lower your left arm in front of you. And you can make a pillow with both arms and rest your right ear down. You could rest your forehead down or if you wanted to create more of a twist, feel free to take your left ear down. And breathe as you soften Letting these moments be a clear demarcation between the activities of your day and the space to rest, to let go. Two more breaths here. And eventually, at your own pace, start to bring yourself back up. Now you could simply switch your hips from one side to the other, or you could switch your props to the other side, and then this time your left hip will be against the bolster. And then slide the left side of the body onto the bolster with your arm underneath, if that feels okay for your shoulder. And on your inhalation, take your right arm up and overhead. And as you exhale, let it surrender. Taking a few breaths here. And 
Not as if your mind wanders. Return to the expansion of the inhale and the softening of the exhale. One more breath. And on your next inhalation, slowly lower your right arm and either make a pillow and rest your forehead down or if you rather take your right ear down, finding more of a twist here. Couple more breaths. And then slowly, starting to press yourself back up. Now start to bring your back toward the bolster once again. Grab your blocks if you have them and bring the soles of your feet toward one another. They don't have to necessarily touch. For some, some of us, the feet being farther apart may feel better. But let your knees rest toward the blocks. Consider that your blocks have different heights. yeah. And then allow your torso or your back to rest on your bolster. You can let your head rest on it. Or if you wanted to open through your shoulders a bit, interlace your hands behind your head and let your elbows go wide. And just breathe here. Where can you find a little bit more space for surrender? Again, considering that you did the best you could today. In the same way that you lean into doing things and action, taking care of stuff. Can you let yourself unwind and relax the stress away, considering the importance of stillness? Two more breaths here. And then slowly releasing your hands from behind your head if you brought them there. Drawing the knees gently toward one another and rolling toward one side. Now perhaps you simply move your bolster out of your way. So do this with as little movement as possible. As you start to bring yourself back down toward your back. You can grab one of your blocks and as you bring your feet parallel to one another with your knees facing up toward the ceiling, you could stay there. You could lift your hips up and do a little bit more effort through the legs or you could slide your block right under your sacrum on either the lower setting or the medium setting and then let your hips rest there. Your arms could be next to your body with your palms facing down. If your hips are lifted without anything underneath you, just take a few breaths there and then lower your hips back down. If there's a block underneath you, maybe you want to stretch your legs away from you for a couple of breaths and your arms overhead. Breathing. Softening. Releasing. One more breath here. And then slowly place your feet back on the ground. If there's a block underneath you, lift your hips up and move it out of the way. Lower your hips back down to the floor and maybe bring your knees toward your chest, giving yourself a little hug. Your knees can come toward the center of the chest or wider out toward the shoulders. And your hands could hug underneath the knees or over, whatever feels best for you. 
Let yourself sway a little bit side to side if you'd like. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in and out. Lower your feet to the floor as wide as your hips are a little wider and allow your knees to once again surrender toward one another. Your hands could rest on your abdomen. They could rest overhead or on the sides. Breathe here. Letting the earth catch you and support you. Letting go of the need to always be doing. And letting yourself relax for the evening. If the shape works for you and you're comfortable here, maybe you'll stay here for your final relaxation. You could also stretch your legs down, coming into a more traditional Shavasana shape. I also invite you, if you wanted to, to bring one hip near a wall and then slide your hips and your legs up the wall. Maybe your arms rest next to your body or on the body. Coming into waterfall. And wherever you decide to go, Do any final movement that you need. And eventually surrender. There's nothing left to do. Just be. If you have extra time this evening, I invite you to stay in this restful shape for three to five more minutes. Or just simply take yourself straight to bed. Drift into sleep. If you still have a few things left to do this evening before you go to sleep, Take a couple more breaths here in stillness, reminding your nervous system that you are safe right now. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through your nose or your mouth. Bringing movement back into the fingers and the toes. Gently move your head from side to side. Eventually coming out of whatever pose you may be in and coming up to a seated position of your choice. Feel free to sit on your bolster or your blocks. Rest your hands on your lap or your knees or if you'd rather bring one hand to your abdomen and one hand to your heart. And we'll do a few rounds of square breaths. So inhale, counting to four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. Hold at the bottom for four. In for four. Holding for four. Out for four. Hold at the bottom. One more. And then returning to your natural breath.
I invite you to take a moment of gratitude, thanking your body, your mind, your energy, your knowledge for getting you through another day. Whether you feel like you excelled or failed, can you give yourself a moment of grace as you repeat within or without? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a deep inhalation. And let go. Once you're ready, release your hands and open your eyes. I hope that you have enjoyed this evening yoga practice to unwind and release stress. If you've enjoyed it, please check out other classes to relax and to stay grounded. Until we meet again, take care and be well.